so the first step is to open this powder holder area you're gonna see the sign where it says push so you're gonna push it and it's going to separate from the washing machine so when it separates pull it out then put it in the sink and you're just going to need a brush or a piece of cloth just to make sure you give it a thorough cleaning to get rid of all this powder that is just sticking in the areas so after you've done this you're just going to do this and then make sure you return it in the area that it's supposed to be at the washing machine So the second step is to go to the lower area of the washing machine and you're going to open the area and release this knob that holds extra dirt and water. Carefully open the knob and then you're just going to let it release the excess water or dirt that it has. Mine does not have so much dirt. So next is to close the knob and then just return it back to position. So the third step after returning this back to position is to open the second knob. This knob also holds some water and some ex extra bigger particles that come from clothes that you've put in the washing machine. You can see these big particles. These particles can be stones, they can be coins, they can be uh, zips, they, they can be anything, you know. So make sure you get rid of each and every particle that you can see from this area. After removing all the big particles that you can see, take your wet piece of cloth and clean the air carefully and you can see that the dirt coming from there is quite a lot. So then take the knob and then just clean it with your brush and make sure that it's clean and then return it to where it's supposed to be and just make sure the area is again closed. number four go behind your washing machine and you can see a pipe that connects from the main tap to the washing machine open this area you just need to tilt it anti-clockwise so after tilting it it's going to open and after opening you're going to see a blue a blue kind of thing that looks like a sh ash uh, how do i mention this a blue thing a small blue thing that looks like a sieve so just carefully pull it out after pulling it out you can see how small it is so just pull it out when you pull it out just rub it with the brush again and some water to get rid of all that excess that that you can see carefully return it to position and then just close back the pipe and make sure it's well closed so step number five is to go to this area that was holding the powder rack and you want to go deeper and just take a piece of wet cloth and clean it thoroughly you can see that it's still holding some dirt some of the washing powder is here so you just need to make sure that you get rid of all that so go ahead and just clean it thoroughly so the sixth step is this area in between the rubber it you can see it holds a lot of dirt especially if you wash your shoes frequently or wash heavy loads of clothes that are dirty so you want to clean in between the rubber very carefully you can see there's a lot of dirt So for our last step, which is the seventh step, you will now want to clean the whole machine generally. So you're going to need some white vinegar, pour it inside the washing machine. Then go ahead and open the powder holder area and you're not going to need some sodium bicarbonate. Open the area and put a good amount of the sodium bicarbonate in the main washer and the, area in, and the other section of the powder holder. Then go ahead 
and put some water just to make sure it's in liquid form close the area and then you want to switch on the washing machine some washing machines have the option of clean but this one does not have so we're going to put quick 30 because that is the shortest time that we have here so put it on quick quick 30 and let it wash the machine slowly and gently and then after that you're just going to let the machine stay open for about 10 to 15 minutes just to let it air dry and let it be completely dry and afterwards your machine is definitely ready for use